is not going as expected. I am so hungry right now. First of all, I got up this morning, I skipped my workout, which is totally fine. I wasn't feeling it, but then, there's a kicker, I just went on a wild dog chase for two lost dogs. I am so hungry right now. I was 45 minutes running around my neighborhood when I started, I was hungry. So I was actually about to get ready to wash my face and then make breakfast, but I got to sidetracked. So I, before we get into things, I'm gonna go actually make breakfast and I'll sit down and I'll recap it all for you. I actually got some some footage I had my camera with me. So I need to go make breakfast and we'll chat in a sec. Running around my neighborhood trying to, I think there's two lost dogs. So I'm like on a mission to save them. This is just what it is, guys. This morning did not go as planned. I woke up this morning, I was gonna go to the gym, didn't feel like it, so I didn't. And then <laughs> the whole dog debacle happened. But let's rewind all the way and kind of start that over. This is gonna be a full day of eating video, you guys. This is not by any means me telling you what to eat or how to eat or even how I eat every day. If you guys watch these, you know this is my usual spiel. I want to help you understand the thought process as an intuitive eater, show you the differences between different days, right? Every day is different. Thankful for intuitive eating today because I was able to be flexible because like I said, it did not go as planned. So I got up this morning and I got right to work and I got hungry after like an hour Hour, so I had some Cliff Bar cereal. I didn't really made a cereal, guys, it's really good. So I snacked on that and the reason I decided for a snack versus like a meal was because I was in the middle of a task and I was like, I want to finish this task before I, I wanna enjoy my breakfast because I'll, I'll tell you what I made for breakfast, but I just wanted to kind of wipe my hands clean of that task. I was almost done, wanted to finish it. So I opted for a snack versus a meal because I knew if I were to take the time, make a meal, I would probably come back to it and not be in like my zone, in the zone, you know, to finish the work. So cranked that out. And then I was actually going upstairs. I was in my my pineapple robe, as you saw, and I was getting ready. And then that's when the whole dog debacle happened. It's so nice. Look at, yeah, you can take it. You can take oh, it. Okay. You don't want this. It is really nice to know that there's also good people in the world. We, it was just me and two other random ladies looking for these dogs, but anywho, we got them. But then when I got back, I was so hungry, you guys. It was like almost an hour from the time where I was like, okay, I'm ready for breakfast that I was able to eat. I was so hungry and I made chocolate baked oats, five minute chocolate baked oats. I will link to them in the description. I have the whole recipe on my blog. They're really good, really filling. But I found that as I was eating them, I was so hungry. It was to the point where when we get too hungry, a lot of times we have a tendency to overeat because it's more difficult for us to listen to our fullness cues. Now going into this meal, I knew that and I finished the bowl and I was like, I need more food, right? But I took my, I was like, do I actually need more food? Do I want more food? Or is this just kind of me like, oh my gosh, I'm so hungry, give me it all, right? Inhaling. So what I did is I was just like, okay, you know what? I'm. I feel like I'm good now, but I, I'm not sure if I want more. So I did the dishes, which side note, you guys told me on Instagram for cleaning the blender. Cause that's why I don't make these all that often. Cause I hate cleaning the blender. You told me to put some dish soap in there. So I did that and then just let it run. I did have to scrub it a little bit, but it was way easier. So pro tip, if if I, I feel like that might be common knowledge, maybe I just didn't know it, but that's what I did. So that's what I had going on this morning. I took a break, did the dishes, and then I did still want a little bit more peanut butter. So I had some from the jar and that's fine. But I think that if you know that you're going into a meal overly full, take the time, pause, 
don't need to make a decision right away, right? You can take a second and decide. But that little tip really helped me today. And it just goes to show you that it's always, when we get too overly hungry, we're gonna likely lead to overeating, right? Not in a way that feels good. My thought process was, I have, I gotta make up time, right? I got 45 minutes here that I just lost. Granted, I don't regret it, but I, I gotta get snapping on the workday, right? So I didn't, I needed to feel energized. I didn't wanna feel sluggish, like, oh, I'm so full. So I gave myself a break, right? And then I just had a little bit more peanut butter and now I'm moving on with my day, right? Okay. <laughs> That was a long, I feel like, morning. I thought the morning part was gonna go really quick, but that's what we got going on for the day. I have no idea what is gonna be in store today, to be honest. I feel like I'm one of those people where it rains, it pours. So what is the phrase? Strap in for the ride. We'll see what today brings. I have no idea. So I'm gonna go try to catch up on some work reframe everything, get myself in the right mindset, and I will check back with you guys the next time I eat. Hey guys, it is lunchtime now. So I feel like I'm not honestly that hungry, but this is like the time between meetings that I have to make lunch. So sometimes we have to eat when we're not necessarily feeling hunger cues out of practicality that's life, right? That is part of intuitive eating. So I'm incorporating some of that now. I'm using also kind of practical hunger based on what we have right now. I, I'll just turn you around and show you, hang on. Okay, so here's what we have. These crisp breads are just kind of a really good go-to for me. There's two different kinds in here. There's multigrain and light rye. Sometimes I'll just grab a couple of each. And then, okay, so I got this can of tuna or tuna, can of salmon from Aldi this week. I don't love it, but you know, whatever, we're gonna use it. It's got bones in it, it just kinda bugs me. But I'm gonna just use it, whatever. What I'm making, so I'm kind of like using practical hunger on those two things, I need to use it. This is pesto mayo that I made. This is kind of how I'm incorporating like taste and just kind of making it a little more satisfying because I love the taste of this stuff. One cup of mayo, quarter cup pesto. I have a recipe for homemade mayo coming to my blog soon. Feta cheese, gonna add that in there and then thick, thick tomato slices. So kinda just took like practicality. What do we have on hand? How can I? I make it a little more interesting, a little more tasty, and that's where this came in. Yeah, carb set protein, all those things, but practicality, that's where we're at. What a day. Okay, so afternoon, pretty standard afternoon. Got hungry a couple times, had a little sweet tooth after lunch. Then just grabbed a bar, needed something quick because we were taking this dude, where are you baby? For a walk. And so now I'm making dinner and I freaking realized, well, I didn't realize. I, don't, I swear I grabbed tortillas from the store this week. Like I can, I can literally picture putting them in the cart because I almost took a picture of them for Sunday grocery finds, which I do on Instagram every week. I'm just like baffled. Like we must have bought them and then like left them there. I don't know. I swear they were in our cart though. Anyway, so we're pivoting for dinner because I already have chicken feta tacos is what I was going to make. So we're gonna pivot. I don't really want just a salad. I already have lettuce cut up to go in the tacos. So we're gonna get creative here. I'm gonna try to turn this into nachos. And we're gonna see, I think I'm gonna make it. I have a recipe, by the way, for the chicken fajita tacos that I'm gonna just essentially make that. I'm gonna put it on tortillas and put it in the oven and just bake it for a couple minutes. I don't know how this is gonna turn out, you guys. And then I think I'll probably serve that like on some lettuce because I already have it cut up. I need to use it and it's, it's on its last leg. So I don't know how dinner is gonna turn out, but we'll see. All right guys, I think it kind of worked out fine. So we have our chicken fajita nachos here. Like I said, I have some lettuce cut up here that I don't know what we're gonna do. We're just gonna kind of make like a hodgepodge here and that's what we're gonna have for dinner. It's fine. Actually, I'm, I'm kind of excited. The nachos turned out really good. I just still can't get past I didn't buy, I swear I bought them. Tortillas. But the reason I swapped for tortilla chips was because obviously I needed some kind of carb there. I know that carbs and protein help my body to stay full and satisfied at meals. If I wouldn't have done that, if I would have just like put that on a bed of lettuce, I would have been hungry like 
20 minutes later. I'm pretty full right now. I ended up kind of picking more than what I had originally put on my plate and that's okay. If you need more than what you originally put on your plate, it's okay to go back for seconds. And I actually kind of did that twice today, right? It's okay to do that. I did that at breakfast. I went back for more peanut butter, but yeah, it's fine. Now I'm drinking a Aldi brand sparkling water. Pretty full, like I said, to be determined on dessert. Honestly, if we had ice cream, I'd probably have some, but I finished it last night, so we don't have any, which is very rare in my house, but nothing else really sounds that good. Like I'm looking at a Reese's cup right now. That doesn't really sound good. I had a cookie earlier. Don't have a desire for another one. There's Heath bars. Don't necessarily have a desire for another one. We'll see. I'll let you know if I decide on anything, but that's it for the day. I'm pretty tired, so I'm gonna go upstairs and go to bed. We're gonna watch TV and then go to bed. But I hope this is helpful, again, as always, sharing with you kind of the why behind intuitive eating. Oh, there was one more thing I wanna talk about for dinner. So one way to approach veggies. Well, I have two tips for veggies that I wanted to share. So if you are at a point in your intuitive eating journey when you feel like I don't want to eat veggies, it could very well be because they are associated or coupled with diet culture and weight loss, right? So nutrition gets put on the back burner, but as we go through it, it we do want to start exploring those things, right? It's a health promoting behavior, incorporating fruits and veggies. So one thing you can do is to try a totally new fruit and veggie. So I was thinking about that with peppers. If you always ate broccoli and carrots when you were dieting, maybe then you try sauteed peppers like I had tonight on my well, nachos, I guess, is what I ended up having. But try something totally different, right? Maybe you go to the grocery store and you try a veggie you've never had before, prepare it in a different way. Sometimes that can help a little bit when we get like so burnt out on veggies, especially from dieting. That's my first tip. My second tip is to, I like to see how much color I can add to a meal. That is a really, really great form of dense nutrition. I was just talking about this in the Society Intuitive Eating Membership Community, which is where I do all of my coaching for how for you to become an intuitive eater, right? So guidance, supportive community, I can link all of that in the description for you. But we were talking about just nutrition and we were talking about how the color of fruits and veggies a lot of times signal that it can have a lot of different nutrients in there. So rather than thinking, hey, you know, how many nutrients in here, just ask yourself, how much color can I add? Because what that's also going to do is it's going to increase satisfaction, right? It's going to have our minds become more mindful as we're eating because they're different things to look at, right? There's more depth, there's more complexity to it. It makes it more interesting, right? So that can actually increase your satisfaction, increase your ability to listen to your hunger and fullness cues versus kind of just like eating something on autopilot, right? So a couple of veggie tips there that I wanted to make sure that we got in because I was thinking about them at dinner. I feel like I'm like getting like revved up again now talking about this stuff. I need to cool down and go to bed. It was a day, it was a day, let's just say that. But the two doggos earlier this morning at home. So I'm going to go upstairs and cuddle with mine. So I hope this video is helpful for you guys. If you do like these full days of eating, as always, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Hit subscribe down there. If you are new, welcome. And be sure to hit the little bell to be notified every time a new video is uploaded. They're uploaded every Thursday. So with that, you guys, I will see you guys back next week with another video. Same time, same place. See you later.